And obviously, you guys have a very close relationship, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't be here with us today if it weren't for Lieutenant Montez. That's right. It's it's pretty amazing. She gave me my start, and uh, we actually had a little chat about that also. Yeah. What was the deciding factor in in, in grabbing me and, and having pulling me out of the tourist district of Pat Three and saying you're no longer on motors and you now work for me? How? Why? I had no formal training. I had a lieutenant that was on a, a fatal scene overnight and called me. And of course, uh, you know, six counties getting up every night to come to every fatal was challenging. And so he said, hold on, I've got a trooper here, looks good in uniform. And the next day he came to me, he says, wow, this guy, this guy, I could see him doing exactly what you do. And that's how it kind of started. And I think me wanting somebody that kind of had the same mindset, the same mission, the same goal for traffic safety, the same passion. There would be no Trooper Steve without Lieutenant Kim Montez. I was so proud that they thought that you had done such a good job and you represent FHP so well. I was so proud that they thought to take that and run with a new perspective on how to do traffic news. That transformation made me proud and I call you my work son. Thank you, because you've paved my life, you've changed it, and I don't know what the future has, but I am glad that no matter what, you and I will still be friends. We're just Tissue all gonna cry warning. now. Jeez yes. Louise. Yeah, uh, there would be no Trooper Steve without Lieutenant Kim Montez, and she has been an, a, a mother to me. Uh, we are still great friends to this day. I talk to her every single day, <laughs> and it is different to get up here and talk without a script about Lieutenant Kim Montez, because uh, from go, she has always been there for me, and been there for the community equally, what she has done and mm -hmm. just the things and the people I run into, everyone is always, wow, Kim Montez. Mm -hmm. And she's a legend and she will always be a legend here in the Central Florida community. And I, I, I just, I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for her. So I hope you'll take amazing. us to her farm with you. I hope I get to go. <laughs> To her farm one day. She's a huge animal lover, always, yeah. always. May, if you rescue an animal, I want to know about it kind of yeah. thing. So it's always been a pretty amazing experience working with, with Kim. So it's been pretty cool. You had asked me earlier. What's your, yeah, what's your favorite memory? She is the only person uh -oh. who can uh, flip script on me in a mid-conversation as Kim to Steve, and then it can go from Lieutenant Montez to this is Trooper Montiero <laughs> kind of thing. And I'm like, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, kind of thing. And then yep. we'd be best friends right afterwards. So um, I know we're running low on time real quick, but to Lieutenant Kim Montez, this community absolutely loves you. I love you, and thank you for everything you have done, not only for Central Florida, but for me. Thank you, ma'am. Absolutely. Right. Thanks, guys. All right.